Some time had passed, and Lisa Lau, the smartest kid in the Loud family. Anyway, she was now 26, and she had just passed the test. Also, she would be flying the spacecraft, did it with two others. A girl the same age as her, named Jade, and a boy who was 32, named Matthew. They got ready, then got into the spacecraft pretty quickly. Once they were ready, they counted down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off, they all said. Once in space, Lisa informed that they made it. We've made it, she said. Everyone back down at Earth cheered a bit. Anyway, they continued flying through space. Days passed, and they kept studying the satellites, like the mission said. Nothing too hard. But something that made Lisa, Jade, and Matthew confused was a low-like buzzing sound. They all could hear it. They asked one each other about it, and they agreed that they all heard it. They tried to tell the station back on Earth, but they brushed it off as just space. Space did make strange noises, anyway. As they continued their mission for days... They continued hearing this buzzing sound, buzzing, but it suddenly, but it sounded closer each day. Of course, they couldn't tell if it was day or night, but they didn't have to. They just listened in if it came closer. Then said, uh, then said that what, then said that was a day they all took this uh, station, n- guess, with the station guess, but they were still suspicious, especially Lisa. She wanted to get to the bottom of this strange noise. It was bothering her that much. She was pretty sure it wasn't just space, but something bigger. She walked up to Jade. Hey, Jade, she said. What, Jade asked. Can I have access to go out of the ship? Lisa asked. Why, Jade asked. Just can I, Lisa asked. Sure, just don't tell Matthew, Jade Jade answered. Jade helped Lisa with getting her ready to go out. When she was done, Lisa went out of the ship to check around it. She didn't see anything at first, but then she saw something in the distance, very close to the ship, but still in range of it. It looked like a jellyfish, but bigger and monstrous. She got freaked out, went back inside. She told Jade what she saw, and that she was going to check if it sent any transmission to the ship. When she did, it sounded like whatever she saw was to communicate with them. He was going to make it out, what it said, because all she could hear was buzzing from it. It lasted for hours. It felt like forever, but eventually left. Lisa wanted to bring this back to Earth and study on it more there. She grabbed an intercom. She grabbed an intercom. <laughs> We're coming home, she said. After that, they made their journey back down to Earth. Lisa instantly started to study up on what the thing she saw was trying to tell her. Years have passed. Lisa was now 56. She had kids, two of them, and she was married. Her kids were getting old. She also was trying to decode this strange transmission. She eventually did. It said something that she'd never forget. It said, Space, empty, but Earth, full in life. Unlike any planet before, more than usual, Earth will be our domain soon. They were shocked and very disturbed by this message. What did it mean? Earth will be our domain soon? Lisa may never know, but she knows this message will stick with her forever. I hope you enjoyed this story. The next one will be up shortly, like tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I hope you and also go check out Adam's Toyland's channel. And yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.